Today, I'm going to show you how to track devices on your network. At first glance, this might sound very paranoid, but in this example, you'll see why we need it. In my house, we're using a smart hub named Home Assistant. It tracks all of these cameras. There's a bunch of cameras, and it's tracking them all. As soon as one of these cameras go down, I get an alert instantly on my phone saying that the camera is down, and which camera is down. Since I don't live in a good neighborhood, I feel much safer having these cameras monitoring the premises at all times. I feel even safer knowing that I get an alert if one of these cameras ever go down for whatever reason. The way it works is pretty simple. This smart hub asks the cameras every 5 minutes whether it's there or not by pinging. It's going to ping the camera, and if the camera does not respond, then boom, send me an alert instantly. That sounds pretty good, right? Assuming that this hub never goes down, the electricity never goes down, the power never goes down, the internet never goes down, nothing goes down between this hub and my mobile devices. Nothing gets in the way between this hub and my smartphone. But we know that's not true, right? Because sometimes the internet does go down, or what if somebody cut my internet line for whatever reason? So in the second part of this video, you'll see how we're going to link this hub straight into another server. And this server acts just like the hub in our house. This hub in my house will ping the server. And if the server does not hear the ping, then the server will alert my mobile phone instantly. The beauty of all of this is that it's free. There's absolutely no monthly fees whatsoever. So let's get started. I'm going to assume that you have cameras or whatever devices you want to track in the house installed already. Go ahead and download this program called Advanced IP Scanner. This will scan all of the devices in your house and it will tell you what the IP address is. It's basically the number that's associated with a device on your network. Once you download the software, go ahead and enter your IP address range. I'm with Verizon, so I know that my IP address is from 192.168.1.1 to 254. If you're with Comcast, chances are you're 10.1.10.1-254. Click on Scan, and it will scan all of the devices on your network. Here's an example. I know for sure that one of my cameras is 192.168.1.112. Go ahead and open up your Home Assistant. Go on to the left-hand side and click on File Editor. Click on the folder. Be sure you're in the Config folder. If not, go into it. Scroll down and go to Configuration.yaml. Go ahead and add these lines in. Device tracker colon. Platform ping. Interval seconds 600. 600 seconds means that it's going to query the devices every 5 minutes, asking the devices if they're there or not. It's going to consider the devices home if they're on a network for 1200 seconds. The host, and then list out all of your cameras in the house. So here we go. You can see that this is my front doorbell. And that's the IP address that we saw earlier before, 192.168.1.112. And here are all of the other cameras in the house as well. Once you're done adding these lines into your configuration.yaml file, go ahead and click on Save at the top. Go over to Terminal. Type in HA space core space restart to restart your whole configuration. Once your HA instance has restart, go ahead and click on Developers tool. Go over to States. In your filter, go ahead and type in your camera name. So for instance, I have a bunch of cameras, and mine always starts with cam underscore. Here you can see that a bunch of devices are home, and one of them is not home. Now let's go ahead and set up an automation, so that way I get an alert on my phone when the device goes down. Go to Settings, Automations, Create Automation, Create New Automation, Add a Trigger. The trigger will be state, the entity will be one of the camera. We might as well start from the first camera. I want to get an alert when it's home, and then it suddenly disappears from my network to away. Add an action. The action will be call service. The service will be sending a notification to my Telegram account. The message to my phone will be alert back camera offline. Click on save. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine as alert camera back is offline. Click on save. And that's basically it. Pretty easy, right? Just to get alert for one of my camera is down. The second part of our video is getting a notification when our hub goes down for whatever reason, such as internet got cut, power loss, anything. To so go into this website, healthchecks.io. Click on New Project and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine House 557. Click on it. Click on Add Check. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it House 557 again. 
the period will be 10 minutes, meaning that our home assistant will ping this server every 10 minutes. The grace time will be 2 minutes. So if health check doesn't hear from our hub within 12 minutes, then it's going to send an alert straight to your phone. Click on save. See this whole URL right here? Click on it to copy it. Go back to your home assistant again, click on file editor and open the configuration YAML file one more time. Go ahead and type in these three lines. It's rest underscore command, health check, the URL that you copy over. Click on save and restart your home assistant. After it's done restarting, go ahead and click on settings, automation, click on create automation. The trigger will be time pattern trigger. It's going to do it every three minutes. So it's slash three. The action will be restful command. Choose the restful command health check, the one that you just created in the configuration file. Click on save. And that's basically it. So this automation will run every three minutes, making sure that it pings the server. If this server doesn't hear from us within 12 minutes, then it's going to send you an alert via email. This free service is so slick. I've been using it for years now and I've never had any issues. Whenever one of my machines go down, I get an alert instantly. It's amazing. All right, hopefully you found this tutorial useful, helpful. I'm curious what devices you are using to track them. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.